Because I care about the Bit Squad, I'm bringing you 11 coins today. Now, before you say, another Top Coins video, think again. I'm about to show you 11 coins not to buy right now. Imagine being told to buy Dash last cycle and having to sit on the sidelines while you watch other people's bags blast off to the moon and come back in a Lambo while you're changing the starter in your Nissan for the third time. That's what the Bit Boy is here to keep you from. Watch this video to the very end to make sure you stay away from these dreaded coins. Let's get it. I'm not a financial advisor. <laughs> Welcome to the channel. I'm your host, The Bit Boy. If you want to learn more about crypto and how to play the crypto markets, put yourself and your family in a better financial position, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button if you find value in this video. Today, I'm exploring the galaxy of crypto projects on CoinMarketCap's top 200, but I'm not on the hunt for the shining stars. On my radar today are the black holes of liquidity, the Death Star scams, and lifeless cold rogue planets ejected from solar systems and wandering alone through interstellar space. Basically projects that you should avoid like the plague. Plummeting trading volumes, shady team tactics, and so much more, you aren't gonna wanna miss which projects I believe are gonna tank. So make sure to watch this video until the very end. Today, we're gonna be talking about coins to stay away from. First, GMX. It's a decentralized exchange platform that allows users to trade perpetual cryptocurrency futures contracts with leverage. Similar to how it's done on traditionalized centralized exchanges, GMX offers the added benefits of decentralization and self-custody of assets. But lately, the platform has seen its trading volume plummet by 90% in the last 90 days. This drastic decline tells me the exchange is struggling to maintain its user base and may be on the verge of total collapse. It's best to steer clear of GMX and consider alternative exchanges with healthier trading activity. STX is the native token of the Stacks blockchain, which which brings smart contracts and dApps to Bitcoin. Sounds good, right? But the problem is Bitcoin DeFi had a shot at capturing market share and attention, and it failed to deliver on those expectations. SDX, a project tied to this sector, showed a lot of potential to warrant investment for a long time. But in my opinion, the window of opportunity for Bitcoin DeFi seems to have closed. And it's unlikely that SDX will outperform the market for the remainder of this bull run. CRO is the native token of the crypto.com ecosystem, powering its various crypto services and offering benefits to holders like its Visa card, cashback rewards, and staking. It has a shaky community to say the best, but to all the crow bros out there, the reality is exchange tokens, with the exception of Binance Coin and lately Femex token, are generally not good investments. CRO in particular has likely reached its peak and probably won't see significant growth in the future. I believe in this upcoming cycle, it's best to avoid CRO and focus on other investment opportunities. And speaking of Femex, here's why I like it. Are you looking for a reliable crypto exchange with low fees and high security? The search can be overwhelming with so many options out there. Join Femex using my affiliate link to get up to an $8,800 trading bonus right now. Experience top-notch trading features, low fees, and strong security. Click the link in the description to get started today. Pepe is a meme coin inspired by the internet meme Pepe the Frog, launched in April 2023 by an anonymous team. It experienced a meteoric rise in popularity, reaching a market cap of over $1.5 billion in May of 2023. Ever since then, the project has been marred by internal conflicts and controversies within the development team, leading to uncertainty about its future. And get ready for more bad news. I've heard inside information about an ongoing investigation, and while it's not directly focused on Pepe, it does involve the project in some way. For now, I believe it's best to stay away from Pepe until the situation becomes clear, and consider that it's also unlikely Pepe will outperform other meme coins like WIP, Floki, or Brett. IOTA is a distributed ledger technology designed for the internet of things, enabling secure and feeless microtransactions with its unique Tangle consensus mechanism. It's technically not blockchain. It's basically designed to be where the inevitable robot takeover meets cryptocurrency. And IOTA was a top performing project and a top 10 cryptocurrency for a long time, but it faced numerous challenges and changes over the years. Their recent attempt to revitalize their token economy with Shimmer or SMR was unsuccessful, and SMR's poor performance signals trouble for IOTA's future. It's best to avoid IOTA and consider other projects with stronger fundamentals. ADA is the native cryptocurrency of the Cardano blockchain Chain, a platform for building secure dApps and smart contracts, founded by Charles Hoskinson. But you know what ADA is, and you also probably know that I strongly believe its user base is declining and it's at serious risk of fading into the ether on CoinMarketCap. I'm recording a deep dive video on why Cardano is dead this week, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel and hit that notification bell. This cycle is best to avoid ADA and focus on other layer one blockchains with more promise. Shiba Inu's SHIB is a meme coin created in August 2020 to be the Dogecoin killer and experienced a meteoric rise in 2021 with its price increasing by millions of percentage points, briefly surpassing Dogecoin and trading volume at its peak. But all that hype was last cycle and SHIB, while likely to remain in the top 50 cryptocurrencies, is a dead meme coin with little excitement surrounding it. Think of it as a one cycle wonder and it's unlikely to see significant growth in the future. In 2024 and 2025, it's best to avoid SHIB and consider other projects with more potential. ENJ is the native token of the Engine platform, 
enabling the creation, management, and trading of in-game items and digital assets across multiple platforms using blockchain technology. But there's a dark side to ENJ that I think you should know about. Although ENJ can look appealing, it's actually just lipstick on a blockchain pig. Project run by scammers who constantly create new projects and products such as Affinity, it was a big scam, whose only purpose is to get users to buy and make insiders rich. It's best to stay away from Engine and other projects associated with its team. Tezos is a blockchain platform for smart contracts and dApps, featuring a self-amending governance mechanism and a proof of stake consensus algorithm for energy efficiency and broader participation. Sounds good, but that only works if they're able to attract a strong user base, and they didn't. In reality, Tezos is a dead layer one blockchain with little to no activity or development. Best to avoid Tezos and focus on other layer one blockchains with stronger communities and more active development. EGLD or eGold is the native cryptocurrency of the Multiverse X blockchain, designed for the seventh time to enable transactions, smart contract execution, and network governance. But I thought about why Multiverse X is just another rebrand on the show a couple weeks ago. The thing is with, um, with, with crypto companies I find very odd is that an Aubrey just did it. And uh, you see this time after time, we, we talked about earlier, uh, you know, we talked about earlier this week, maybe or last week, Elrond did it, Multiverse now. Uh, you look at some of these projects that this Daniel Goldman guy was related to, Turnio, and then Block Card, and then some other card, you know. Crypto companies, when they get hit dead points with regulators, they just rebrand into something else. And that's weird to me. I think it's best to be cautious with eGold and consider other projects with more promising prospects. Aptos is a layer one blockchain focused on delivering high throughput and low latency for dApps, using its parallel execution engine and move programming language for scalability and secure smart contract development. So why do I think it's gonna miss? Well, while Aptos is a decent project, its competitor, SWE, is far superior. I actually have a little bit of inside information for you guys. I was told that Aptos launched a year ahead of SWE at a bad time to launch, just to beat it to market, they were that scared of it. It's just a better blockchain with a lot more users. And we all know to follow the money, so it's best to bet on SWE instead of Aptos, a project with a clear competitive advantage. What coins are you passing up this bull run? Drop your comments down below. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more. You can also now join our Discord to talk about your portfolio with other members of the BitSquad. Link's in the description below. That's all I got. Be blessed. Boy out.